Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, well, another one is moving off of Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. If you are using Microsoft Edge, we just got to version 108. Well, the latest dev channel update that has been published, which is now 110, does not uh, work on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1, which is to expect since the fact that Google Chrome stops at 110. Uh, so that means that you are going to lose Google Chrome for Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 users. You're also going to lose uh, Microsoft Edge uh, compatibility for Windows uh, 7 and Windows uh, 8.1. It was all already a surprise back when the new Google, uh, the new uh, Microsoft Edge browser was actually released that, you know, when they mentioned that there was going to be a version for Windows 7, it was very, very surprising already back then. So uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting to see that uh, now they are following and probably have no choice in following the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the demise of Edge in Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 since it's based on a Chromium project and the Chromium project is probably what is removing itself. So anyways, with very, very low numbers on both Windows 7 and Windows 8, uh, it is pretty much useless anyways for any company to continue actually creating browsers for these old systems. Um, you know, Windows 8.1 is... a going to have end of support in a month from now uh, and so uh, that is uh, the end of an era of a operating system that was uh, loved loved or hated depending on what you were doing but uh, it was a controversial system Windows 8.1 Windows 7 totally insecure and um, it's funny because when I see somebody saying well I use it and I have no viruses yeah you don't know because you can't see the security flaws when they're exploited it doesn't work like that and it's totally, totally uh, useless to use Windows 7, which, anyways, is such an old system. It uh, doesn't really run that well when you compare it to Windows 10. It, Windows 10 is more efficient. And not just that, um, there's also the fact that with the ways that cumulative updates happen and all of that, boy, uh, all the ancient way of Windows 7 from updating is just crazy long and useless and always problematic. So, uh, you know, goodbye. It's, it's time to move on to something else, and um, it's, uh, it's fine like that. As for the rest, Windows 10, Windows 11 are the operating systems where Edge will be compatible. So um, that is that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.